All right, that's it. We got our door, door five, eight o'clock in the morning, early. The appointment time was nine o'clock. So let me go over here right quick, hop in the truck, get in door five and we can get into some truck talk and chill, right? All right, let's get at it. After the party at the Waffle House If you ever been here, you know what I'm talking about When people don't dance, all they do is this And after the original, you know what it is Remix it, hand it, go down I got something else to tell you about the new Motown Where people don't visit, they move out here And ain't no telling who you might see up in Lenox Square I don't know about you, but I miss the freak Nick Cause that's when my city used to be real sick People from other cities used to drive for miles Just to come and get a taste of this ATL style You can make it here, you can make it anywhere Yeah, yeah, yeah Check one two one two one two one two one two. What's good, L O M community? What's up with you? Lockout men in the, not even in the truck. So let me let me clarify that. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell on the way out the door. That is right. Chilling up here in GA with J and R Swoop. My drive down here to GA. Man, I mean, it started Monday. My new fleet manager, mm, okay, I guess. You know, so far, you know, it's an adaption pro process right now. You know what I'm saying? My old fleet manager, he's gone, he's out of here, he's done. It's a new regime and I'm rocking out with a new manager. I'm here at the receiver, I got here yesterday. Couldn't get unloaded, couldn't get a pre-plan. So, I'm about to go up in here, get unloaded, and find out what's my next pre-plan to get me up out of here. Let's go. Oh, oh, before we come back, today's topic, truck talk and chill time, y'all. Yes, sir, today's topic is felons. So if you're a felon, you might wanna, you might wanna peep out this video. And if you know somebody that's a felon, you might wanna share it to them too. I got some good information that you guys might want to hear if you want to get into this, into this game right here, the trucking industry. You feel me? Let's go. You can make it here. You can make it anywhere. So check this out. If you guys are interested in JNR Swoogle, hit me up. You know, if you're a felon that's interested in trucking, hit me up. Come and talk to me right quick. I'll let you know a little bit about JNR Swoogle because we take felons on a case by case basis. If your case isn't severe, and I think they go back maybe three or five years, but it depends on the it depends on the felony. Then you might have a shot getting in with JNR Swoogle. I got a link for you guys that I'm gonna put into the comments that can link you directly to my girl Katie. It's the Intelli app. You fill out the application, she'll call you back and uh, she'll see what she can do for you. Yeah, J and R Swoogle Trucking, you know what I'm saying? Small trucking company up in Minnesota. <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up. So yeah, y'all, give me a minute. 
I gotta I gotta back this bad boy up in door number five as you guys already seen a lot of space out here When you're backing, it's all about sight. And it's all about lining up. When you see it, you got it. When you don't see it, you don't got it. Let's take this outside. I just want to say welcome to my channel, man. Welcome to my channel. And I do appreciate you guys supporting the channel, man. Shout out to the Princess of Dissy Hill for hooking the brother up with that coffee. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Eric for hooking up a brother with that coffee, man. I really do appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Let's get into this topic, man. This information comes from website Help for felons you know what i'm saying helpful felons but be but before i go to that website let me see if i can bring up the comment that brought me to this topic today so early today i want to put it up right here somewhere somewhere but earlier today i you know i got up i read my email i read my text messages i read facebook that's where i get majority of the topics and stuff that i that i bring to you guys for today you know, in this new truck talking chill. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking, I'm trucking, and I'm chilling. Brandon from CDL for Life commented, he says, why is it so hard to find a CDL job for felons? I got right at a year, got right at one year OTR flatbed experience. I have my doubles, I have my triples, and my tanker endorsements. I'm looking for any OTR or regional CDL job. I'm currently located in Columbus, GA. Well, check this out, brother, man. I am down here in McDowell, 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 whatever. I'm down in GA, man. I don't know how long I'm gonna be down here, but felons, second chances, Maybe y'all went in for some minor offenses that could be considered felonies. You know, none of the serious joints like murder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But some of the minor joints, like if you went in for, for drug possession or drug offense or something like that, that shouldn't hold you back from getting a job or any job for that matter. Trucking looks like the only industry that will probably give you that second chance that you need. You know what I'm saying? Not too many other jobs wanna, wanna bring a felon into their midst. Somebody posted in his comment that, you know, this website, help for felons. And I think this is a good tips for you guys that, that, that has felonies on your record. It's an organization that puts a list of trucking companies that hire felons. So if you are a felon seeking a trucking job and have no previous trucking experience, I, I suggest you go to this website and really check it out, man. Check it out. He says, start here with these companies. Many of these companies are not well known due to the smaller size. They have most felon friendly without a doubt, all right? And these are some companies that I'm not even hip to, so I might give them a call in my, in my Make the Call series. So, Britain Transport. It says these guys run dry van, reefers, and flatbeds. They are known for using common sense when hiring truck drivers and will actually consider hiring you if you have a record. Carolina Cargo, they say perhaps the most felon friendly trucking company on earth, Magnum LTD, I, I'm hip to them, I'm hip to them. Gardner, Parshaw Truck Lines, that's PTL, they're they well known too. They say this company has given second chances before to many new truck drivers with felony conventions. Trucking companies that will hire felons convention, uh, 
that will hire felons with conventions that are more than 10 years old. Of course, Swift, J.B. Hunt, Schaefer Trucking, Crate Carriers, Dick LeVay Trucking. Check them out. I did a make the call video. Make sure you hit up Shelly, and she's she's a good recorder, recorder to talk to. CR England, Celiadon, Dutch Made Logistics, Hunt Transportation. Here's some companies that will hire if you have seven years or more. Roll Transport uh, uh, Rail. It's pronounced Rail. Make sure you give them a call too because I did the I did the make the call video on them as well. Rail Transport, Melton Truck Lines. I did the make the call video on them as well. Stevens Transport, PT PGT Trucking, Falcon Transport. With them, you gotta have at least six months of experience. Tango Transport, Bar None, Glendite, Glendo Dyke Transport out of Texas, an interstate distributor company. Those are the companies that are, that are give with you with more than seven. Here's companies that are hit you up with more than five. Boyd Brothers, I call them, so check them out. Western Express, I call them, check them out. Tresway Inc., Trans Am Trucking, Carolina Cargo, D. Boyer Trucking, Ferrelli Transportation. Now with them, they inspect you to have more than 12 months of experience. Here's companies that would hit you up on a case-by-case -case basis. Warner Trans, I mean Warner Express, Warner Express, Navajo Express, Millis Transfer, definitely check them out. I just recently did a call video on them. FFE, Carolina Cargo, Snyder National, W or EW Wiley, Prime Inc. You know what? Prime got the Prime got the handbook on YouTube too. So you if you want to become a truck driver and a YouTuber, make sure you check out Prime. USA Truck, Maverick Transportation, I did a call video on them. Uh, US Express, a call video on them. Tyson Foods, Covenant Transport, uh, Cardinal Logistics, Frey Miller, Hirschbach, I just recently did a call video on them. JNR Schwugel, there we go. Hold on, y'all think I'm kidding? Y'all think I'm kidding? Look. Look down at the bottom. J and R Schwugel, baby. We'll take you on a case by case basis. I'm telling you. Um, I think that's a. Oh, and LCT Transportation. J and R Schwugel. <laughs> Told you. Check them out, man. Check them out. If you want to know a little bit more about JNR Schwoogie, you can hit me up in my email, DM, or comments, and I'll I'll talk to you and chop it up with you all about JNR Schwoogie, man. But uh, yeah, those companies right there that I mentioned are companies that you should check out if you have a felon, you know, if you have a felon case or something like that. And if you want a second chance, man, I, I feel you guys. You know, most felonies is not that severe, man. It's not that severe at all. You know what I'm saying? And you guys do deserve a second chance. Y'all got families. Y'all trying to get right. Y'all trying to make y'all y'all PO right. You know, and some jobs, just won't mess with you guys but trucking trucking will give you that opportunity to start all over this is a good website for you guys make sure you check it out it is called help for felons man information for felons applying to trucking companies man so check this out listen to this listen to this the trucking company industry is highly regulated by both federal government and the state governments there are a lot of hoops to jump through when becoming the trunk uh trunk there's a lot of hoops to jump when becoming a truck driver particularly with felony backgrounds Below you will find some very helpful information that will save you time, money, and frustration. 
I don't know about the money part, but it would definitely save you some time and frustration. So check it out. Felonies that would keep you from getting a job as a truck driver. Now check this out. Now this is the important part right here. This is the important one because you're going to need to know this when you're uh, jumping into this game right here. You're going to need to know what will keep you from getting behind the wheel of a truck. You know what I'm saying? There are some crimes that are... There are some crimes that will automatically keep you from getting hired as a truck driver. There are some crimes that will automatically keep you from getting hired by a trucking company or even keep you from getting your CDLs. All right, let's go down, let's go down the list right quick. A felony convention involving a commercial vehicle. So, of course, if you did any crimes inside of a truck, that's automatic. Interstate drug trafficking. That's either in the four-wheeler or in the truck. I don't know why this, every time this turns, I seem to lose my spot. Damn it, man. Homicide by vehicle. Grand theft auto. Reckless driving. And two, D, and two DUIs. Conventions while having a CDL. So here's some determination factors that some companies take into consideration when they're looking at you to decide whether or not they want to give you a second chance. They look at how long it's been since your sentence was fulfilled, the type of felony you were convicted of, how many felony conventions you have, and company policy. So when they look at you at your application and see that you have a felony and they make their decision, I think those are the factors that they look at to consider you for a second chance with their company. Last but not least, man, let me tell you guys something. Tips for applying to trucking companies. So if you have a felon, here's a tip. Here's some tips that you want to take heed of while you're applying for any company, especially JNR Schwugel right there. You want to be honest, honesty. Lay it all out, be transparent, because believe you and me, if you don't put it on your application and they bring you on and they find out later, they, can, they will still terminate you, so you're a done deal. And that will go on your DAC report as well so that other companies will see that too. So you definitely don't want, you definitely want to be transparent with, your, with all your information that you can put on your application. So be honest. Employment history, that's another thing. Trucking companies want at least three up to 10. They want at least three up to 10 uh, to, be, to be verified for your employment history. There are, trucking companies are required to, are required by law to look at your past 10 years of employment history. Driving record, make sure your driving record is clean. They're gonna look at that with a fine tooth comb. If you have any accidents, if you have any, if you have any uh, minor tickets, parking tickets, speeding tickets, red light tickets, stop sign tickets, they look at all of that. Make sure you get an MVR report before you go to your orientation. Medical certificate, I talked about that recently. I talked about your medical. You. <laughs> You can't have one without the other. Or let me rephrase that. You can't drive what you can't drive with one without the other. Yeah, you got your CDLs, that's good. That's all great. But what good is it if you don't have your medical certificate to go with it? Because you got to have your medical certificate on file with your CDL in order to drive. So make sure that your health is together. And guys, people with diabetes pay attention. If you have diabetes, you're good to go if you're taking medicine by mouth, like myself. I'm taking metformin. I'm a type 2 diabetic. But if you're a type 1 diabetic and you got to take the insulin shot, 
you got to go through a more strenuous process to get your to get your medical card than I would with just uh, with just the metformin. Be sure your health issues like blood pressure, sleep apnea, and diabetes. That those those three right there, those three things right there could keep you from driving. All right. So definitely make sure you keep that on point. All right. If you have sleep apnea, some companies will might want you to take a sleep apnea test. Uh, diabetes, that's easy to get under control with just with just healthy eating and dieting. And blood pressure, I'm not sure, but with blood pressure, just just try to keep all stress out of your life and you should be able to keep your blood pressure down. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet because you guys know I'm always long-winded when it comes to my videos. But if you made it to the end of this video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, share this video share this video because if you know anybody that's a felon they're gonna need to know this type of information that i am spitting at you share this video and hit that bell on the way out the door you know what i'm saying thank you guys for supporting the channel thank you for watching i really do appreciate it this is lockout men truck talking chill get at me at all media Lockoutmen at gmail.com, lockoutmen at Instagram, and you could probably find me on Facebook as well. All right, all right, LOM community, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace. I'm gone, I ain't coming back But you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back Ain't no sunshine